Hello, knife lovers. Welcome to Knife Delights. Hey, it's 2022. We made it through 2021. I hope the year was good for you, but let's hope for the best of 2022. I thought I'd start out the new year by showing you, I guess, what would be my crown jewel of my buck collection. And it's kind of an unboxing type video, although it's been unboxed many times over, but it's the first time for YouTube. I just wanted to share this special knife uh, with everybody. And it is the Buck 500 Duke. And this is a custom Duke. So let's open the box here and just see what we have. And here it is, my 500 Duke with uh, Sambar scales, Sambar stag scales. It's a limited edition buck. It's one of the buck grizzlies, and it's number one of 250. And it is a beautiful knife. I don't know when this was made. Like I said, it came out of the custom shop. I'm assuming this was made probably in the 80s, perhaps 90s. But since it came out of the custom shop, there is no uh, date symbol on it. It is a gorgeous knife. Now the Buck 500, the Duke, uh, was first introduced sometime in the, the mid-70s. And I don't know, you know, how long it was in production. I think it went out of production. I've pretty much just seen them as custom knives now. However, I did see on SMKW, they do have a Duke 500 available with rosewood scales. And it's in 420HC with nickel silver bolsters. So it would, it would look something like this 501 Squire here. And the price on it's right at $65, I think. But what a great knife. So also in our box, we have this extra fancy leather sheath. Look at that high quality sheath there. It says 500 custom. That is one swell looking sheath. And what else do we have? We have a little bit of paperwork here. If I can get it open. Yes, I got it taped shut there. There we go. So it says attention, protect yourself. Read the instructions before use. I believe this is the Certificate of Authenticity. Nope. This is a use and care of your buck knife. Tell you how to take care of it. And here's a word from the Chairman of the Board of Buck Knives. Back when Al Buck was the Chairman. And then just looking at the box here. So Model 500 Duke FG Stag. I got to tell a little story here and make fun of myself. 
for the longest time, I, I know the, the scales were made in sandbar stag. And I was trying to figure out what FG stag was. And I searched and I searched and I couldn't figure that out. Well, the FG stands for finger groove. As you can see in the frame, the frame has finger grooves in it. And boy, does that fit in the hand very nice. So I just thought I'd uh, break out a couple other knives here just for size comparisons. This is the 501 Squire. And that's the 112. And there's a 110. So just a little bit of a size comparison. Now the blade is a three inch blade. It's a drop point blade. Um, it weighs roughly, I don't know, four and a half ounces or maybe a little more. I don't know with these scales on it. It's going to be plus or minus a little bit there, but it's, it's roughly four and a half ounces. So it is a kind of a nice transition knife. If you like it just a little bit bigger than that, but a little smaller than a, a 110 or a 112. And I tell you, these finger grooves just fit my hand wonderfully. You notice here, uh, the buck is written in script. And on the reverse side, where is it? You can just barely barely make it out. It has a 117 on it right up here. But you can barely see it. And I don't know what that number means. And I noticed on the box. I'm sorry, 115, not 117. Somebody on the box wrote a 115 up here. If anybody knows what that 115 would stand for, I please, I'd appreciate it if you could leave a note in the comments for me. One of 250. This is not a knife that I'm typically going to buy. This is probably, you know, it was quite pricey. But I, I thought I had to have one in my collection. But for the price of one, you can buy a lot of other knives. But I couldn't pass this up. I saw it in person. I bought it from a local gentleman that I knew that deals in some knives. And he had this. And I just fell in love with it. He worked with me. Kind of put it on layaway. Was able to pay it off. But that is one beautiful knife. That, that's beautiful stag, that sandbar stag. It's my understanding there's kind of a moratorium on the sandbar stag now. I don't know if you, they can still use it or get it or, or not. but There it is. So I hope you enjoyed a, a look at that beautiful 500 Duke Custom. And I just wanted to say that I think we need to... Uh, recognize some of the unsung heroes from our holiday season here there's an old military saying where they say that uh, amateur soldiers study tactics and professional soldiers study logistics and with that in mind with all of us sitting behind our computer screen going through the different knife websites and drooling on ourselves it's all nice nice and good, but without the men and women out there to, to package these all the way from the store, uh, getting it to the uh, distribution point of whatever carriers are uh, shipping it, all the truck drivers, airline pilots, to the driver that drops the package off at your door. This holiday season, I know they worked very hard under some tough conditions. So let's uh, let's give a hat tip to all of those. 
that made sure that we could get our knives and all of our other Christmas packages on time and to make a, a bright, wonderful Christmas season for us. So hat tip to all of you in the logistics. So it's a new year, a perfect time. If you haven't done so already, start that knife collection. And here's hoping for the best of 2022 to add to your collection if you've started already. Until next time, thanks for stopping by and visiting Knife Delights.